Well, today we're focusing on a marriage that's on the rock. Steve and Tara have had a lot of healing to do, and I've told mother-in-law Kathy that she needs to butt out. Interestingly enough, she is a trained professional in these areas. And I guess based on the fact that she's been through two marriages that she considers on-the-job training, <laughs> plus the professional, she has felt like she's had something to add. But I really think that she sees that she needs to step back. Things didn't end between these three when I left the room. Sparks flew, emotions ran high. This is not what I wanted to happen. I wanted them to come closer, not farther apart. I don't think he regrets it because I think he knows it's the only way out. Then why would he agree to go to a counseling? He said he just said it was a thing to start over. Did you mean start over with her and, and the kids again? Or what are you talking about when you say start over? There will be no starting over. I have wasted too much time with him. Ten and a half years I have been with you. I just wanted the truth when I asked you about it. If he had told you then, would it have made any difference? Yeah, I wouldn't have come here. I would have said forget it and it's done. Because I'm not going to do this again. He's done it twice before. He'll do it again. To say I cheated on my wife, couldn't you have owned up to her when we were at home and just said to her, look, this is what I'm doing, I mean, and deal with it that way? Was there something about Dr. Phil that made you decide to confess all of a sudden? I don't know, I just wanted to be honest. I wanted to be honest to Dr. Phil so he could give us an honest opinion on whether or not he can help us. That's why. How many times do I have to say it? Because you could have done that when you were home. Yeah, and then what? Are you saying that you're not gonna work with him? You're not gonna try? No, I mean, I'm I know not gonna try. No, why should I? Do you feel that he doesn't have any love for you anymore? No, he doesn't love me. He disrespected you, I understand that. Doing that is disrespecting I totally. was not sure that he loved me when we got married. I fell in love with her at the time. I think there's also communication problems, understanding each other. And we didn't talk about any of this stuff like, you know, them not having a chance to really bond as a husband and a wife because there's always some, there's always a lot of another person living in the house and they needed to depend on one another. But that's my opinion and it doesn't, I don't know. I think I have to fix me before I can be with anybody, him or anybody. I don't know if I should keep doing this. How many times do I have to get kicked down and before I say, I mean, just like he said, before I say enough's enough. Well, it's a good question. At what point do you say, that's it? You know, I don't want to do this anymore. What does the future look like for Steve and Tara? Can they get past the lies and betrayal? Can she ever trust him again? And what does Kathy think her role is now? Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.